All right, this video is going to walk us through how to determine the interval of increase and decrease when you're looking at the graph of a quadratic function. Okay, so remember that um, when you're looking at the graph of a quadratic function, we've been working on domain and range forever, right? And our quadratic functions pretty much all have the same domain if we're looking at the full graph of a quadratic, right? It goes from negative infinity, right, to positive infinity. If I go all the way to the left because we're going up and to the left and all the way to the right because we're going up and to the right here. Well, if I'm thinking about um, putting in an axis of symmetry, Let's actually draw an axis of symmetry in this graph, okay? So uh, I'm going to move some things around here. We're going to take this and move this all the way to the left. And we're going to take this one and move it all the way to the right, okay? All right now, our axis of symmetry is going to go smack dab through the middle, right? It's going to go right through the vertex. And it cuts the graph exactly in half. Well, on the left-hand side, the domain of the left-hand side of the graph goes all the way up to the axis of symmetry. So we take that uh, negative infinity and come up to the axis of symmetry. Oh, what is that axis of symmetry? That axis of symmetry is x is equal to 2. Okay, so that negative infinity is going to come all the way up to 2. All right, and on the right-hand side, it's going to start where we left off at 2 and go to positive infinity. Does that make sense? All right, then we are going to want to determine which side of the graph is increasing and which side of the graph is decreasing. So for that, we want to think to ourselves, okay, if I'm tracing from left, to right, which side of the graph is going down, and which side of the graph is going up. One of the sides will go up while the other side goes down. So as you might imagine from my markings, the left side is decreasing while the right side is increasing. And so now I have the pieces of the graph that are increasing and decreasing. On the left, we're increasing, so that's going to be from 2 to infinity, right? And on the right, we're decreasing, so that will be from negative infinity to positive 2. All right, next graph. Let's go ahead and um, plot our axis of symmetry and identify it. There you go. And for our axis of symmetry, we would say that that's x equals negative 1. All right, so remember that left side of the graph, we're starting all the way over at negative infinity, and we're coming right up to that axis of symmetry at negative 1. The right side of the graph is going to pick up where we left off at negative 1 and go to positive infinity. And now we have our intervals. We just need to know which one is which. Trace that graph. Oh, we're going up here. So this is up. And then we're going down here. So this is down. Which means uh, for this function, this side is increasing while this side is decreasing. So our interval of increase is going to be from negative infinity to negative 1. And our interval of decrease going to be from negative 1 to positive infinity. All right, now it's your turn. Go ahead and see if you can identify the axis of symmetry. Then come up with your intervals and then decide which one is increase and which one is decrease. I'll hang around. All right, hopefully you decided that we have an axis of symmetry here at x equals 4. 
the left side of the graph will be from negative infinity to 4. The right side of the graph will be from 4 to infinity. And then if I trace, oh, the left side is going down, and the right side is going up. So that means the left side is going to be decreasing, and the right side is going to be increasing. Interval of increase, 4 to infinity. Interval of decrease, negative infinity, up to 4. All right, well done. We're going to do another quick video. This time we're going to talk about end behavior. And then we're going to jump back into the lesson.